Hello, hello. Sandali lang. Ayusin ko lang po. <laughs> siyang nagkaka-error. Yun. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, team, let me know, please, if okay tayo. Apologies in advance if you hear my dog, dogs pala in the background. They are squatting with me as there are heavy rains here in Antipolo. How is everyone doing this Tuesday evening? We are recording live all the way from Calabarzon, Region 4A, Antipolo represent. Okay. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Facebook. Same on YouTube. We are live. And you can also watch us on Kumu. Okay. I think we are a go. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Ask Cindy. So Ask Cindy is a weekly show that we do every Tuesday at 8 p.m. where we talk about topics that are relevant to entrepreneurs, wannabe entrepreneurs, founders, startup founders, and we take the questions that they most likely have and we try to answer that using our experiences and the collective experiences of the people around us. Okay, so my name is Cindy Burdett. I'm the CEO, co-founder of All Care. All Care is the country's first and only digital benefits platform that allows startups, small businesses, micro enterprises, and even freelancers to get access to important employee or worker benefits through our digital membership. I'm also the CEO and co-founder of a company called BT Partners, which is a revenue operations consulting firm that helps companies scale their sales, marketing, and customer success departments. All right, what a mouthful. Okay, tonight's topic is very interesting and something very close to my heart as somebody that's always in the search of things that will make me a better person. Not just a better founder, but a better person. Um, tonight's topic is, para di ako magkamali, ayan, investing in yourself, building your personal routine as founders. Okay, so... If you're just tuning in, welcome again to tonight's episode of Ask Cindy. Our episode tonight is entitled Investing in Yourself, Building Your Personal Routine as Founders. Now, I know a lot of founders who tell me, founders, business owners, business leaders, who tell me that they barely have time for anything on top of the business. This is probably something that you always hear as well. Or you probably are the one saying this. If you're a business owner, you're probably saying, hindi ka nga man lang makapagsuklay. Di ba? Yan yung all, ano natin, uh, our local idiom or expression. And in many cases, that's really true, no? Ako, even for me, uh, between me and my family, we run about four, uh, five enterprises, uh, two of which I'm the one really leading it. And talagang there are times na, like today, I barely had time to eat. So I started my meetings at 8, uh, 9.30, uh, 9 a.m., sorry. And then until now, at 8 o'clock, we are doing a live at FB YouTube IG Kubo Live. No? So I barely had time to eat today. There are days talaga na are like this. But if you ask me holistically, as an entrepreneur now, do I make time in really creating a life, a schedule, a routine, a system where I can say I have enough time for both work and play? I will be the first to tell you, absolutely. So I have a routine na talaga I try to keep as much as I can because it helps me stay sane. So 
share ko muna before before we get to the question share ko muna some of the routines that i have so if you've known me for a while or following me on social media kala mo naman influencer but just in case we're friends or or we follow each other on social media you probably know that i love the outdoors okay so i grew up in subic bay so you definitely can see pictures on my facebook or instagram pictures of the beach but because I grew up in Zambales, you probably also have seen I like the mountains. So that's why we moved to Antipolo. I absolutely am in love with the mountains, the outdoors. So you will regularly see me in camping gear. Diba? I'm camping either in Tanay, in Laguna, in Quezon, um, because this is something that I do regularly. You'll also see on my feed, when I'm not talking about business or launching stuff or doing workshops, I'm actually also doing a lot of motorcycle riding. So if you are on my social media, you probably saw just this weekend, I posted myself literally swimming in knee-deep mud from our trail exploration in Taisan, Rosario, Batangas. So... These for me are routines. Ibig sabihin, I regularly do them. They're not things that naisip ko lang gawin and then ginawa ko na. These are things that I intentionally design into my schedule. Another thing that I do regularly is I work out. So at least three times a week, I get my workout in. That happens, uh, that happens between 630 to 8.30 in the morning. So kasama na dyan yung travel ko to the gym. My gym is 12 minutes away. I sure ko na yan on my Vespa. So 12 minutes and then I do my workout. Shout out to my trainer, Benji. And then I come home and then I do a full day of workout. Why is it important for me to work out in the morning, especially on the schedules that I plot out? Because to me, if I win that, I start the day winning. My mental effect talaga siya sa akin. Apart from, syempre, I need my body to be fit. For my routines, like camping, motorcycling, wala naman tagapuhat sa bundok, di ba? Apart from those things, and syempre gusto ko mabuhay ng matagal, uh, importante sa akin men effect ng accomplishing something early in the day, something major like working out. If I get my butt off the bed, on the Vespa, into the gym, that's already a win for me. No, and then I know that my day can only go better eh, I want something early. No, so those are some of the routines. So usually Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, I will work out. Yan yung schedules ko. Wednesday, I have BNI in the morning. And then weekends, I will do either camping, motorcycling, or uh, my trip kami somewhere near na beach. No? So, ano yan? Parang plotted routine yan. And I always tell my team. In fact, we start our Monday huddles before we do our weekly Bible devotions, Bible reading and devotions. We actually talk about how our weekends went. Something we're very intentional about in oil care is really imbibing that weekends are for restoring the soul. It, I, I want it to be a routine in our team, that we invest in our weekends because it restores our soul. So effectively, you are investing in yourself as well. Siyempre, on top ito ng mga showbiz answers na we are reading books, we are watching uh, podcast, uh, hindi ka na naman, we're listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, watching Kumu vids, ganyan. On top of everything yan, no? Um, but, Para sa akin, isa sa mga highlights na gusto kong gawin tonight is yung importance ng investing in yourself through routines that really build up the soul. Diba? Yung things that make you alive, that make you feel alive. So again, if you're just tuning in, our topic for tonight is investing in yourself. Uh, routines, ano yan? <laughs> Building personal routines as founders. And I just shared with everyone on the show kung ano yung routines na para sa akin must win ko every week. So yan nga yung aking workout at least three times a week. Meron ako dapat either ride or, mo- or, or camping or beach trip, mountain trip that week. Kasi para sa akin, that's me investing in my soul. Ba? Hindi ako nawawala sa hustle and bustle ng trabaho at ng negosyo. So I hope that was interesting. 
kung nakinig kayo, I hope you could relate. Now, if you have comments, suggestions, questions na pahabol for this show, please feel free to use the comment or chat boxes on the platform. So we're live on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Kumu. Feel free to engage and our team will make sure that we include that in tonight's episode. Okay, I know we have some questions from folks, so let's get to them. What's our first question? What makes having a daily routine so important? So I think I was able to share my personal take on a daily routine earlier, right? For me, several aspects. No? Of course, there's a physical aspect to it. When you build routine, it makes your day smoother. There's a rhythm to the things that you do. Di ko nabanggit, kasama sa routine ko, di ko alam alam nyo to, pero my closest friends will attest to this. I have a coffee shop inside my house. So part of my daily routine is actually going down the stairs. Obviously, part of it is to like wake my body up, make sure blood is flowing around my body. And then I go make myself an espresso. If uh, I'm not feeling an espresso, I'll do a long black or an Americano. But that's part of the routine. Because for me, it just gets my day started in the right zone. Diba? Physically, uh, it makes my day smoother. I'm following certain activities to make sure that I am productive. I am maximizing my day. The other aspect, the second one is your mental aspect. If I can get to my routines at the right time, the way they're supposed to be done, it really makes me feel like I'm winning. Like, yay! I'm sure you can relate to this, right? Early on the day, if you get, kunyara, yung mga mahilig sa breakfast, di ba? If you wake up a little extra and you can whip a special breakfast for yourself, and you have that extra 15 minutes to enjoy your eggs and toast and your coffee, ang sarap na, na di ba? Although ako hindi ako breakfast. So, di ba? Ang sarap ng feeling na yon. So, I know you guys can relate. So, those are the, the two aspects for me. And syempre, I have a I have some time in the morning to just quiet down, to set my mind, to reflect, to meditate, to pray, to reflect. Especially on days like today, na medyo mahaba, no? I really ask the Holy Spirit, okay, we need extra. I need extra serving of godly wisdom today, grace, patience. Kasi nga mahaba yung araw, medyo madaling uminit yung ulo, no? So lahat yan kailangan ma accomplish ko. So for me, those are the important things. Yeah, my routine starts at 5.30. Yes, I'm a morning person. Um, so for me, that's that's why it's important. No? It has physical benefits. It has productivity benefits. And then more importantly, it has mental benefits. Okay, so I hope that answered your question. Okay. Do we have another question? What is the best way to, best way to start developing a routine from having no routine at all. Okay. Interesting thing. I don't think people, there are people that don't have routine. I think that's their routine. To just tunganga. Alam, alam na, yung just, wala. Panyari, social media. Pagising sa umaga, hawak agad yung cellphone. To you, that might not be a routine. But because you do it so often, that's how you've been programmed, no? nakasanayan na natin. It is actually a routine, right? So what you're really effectively asking is, how can I change my routine? How can I incorporate habits that really matter? So first things first, you really have to ask yourself, ano ba, what are the things that really matter to you on a daily basis? Like, it might not be coffee, right? In the morning, maybe you really want to spend some time to pray and meditate and reflect. Baka yun, di ba? And then if that's what you want, you set out for yourself, then you have to intentionally design your day around that. There's a book called Atomic Habits. I don't know if that was... Is that Malcolm Gladwell? Uh, okay, James Clear. So, ayan, magkakamukha kasi yung cover ng books. But, you know, he said in Atomic Habits, and meron pang isa yan, yung isa pang book, similar topic, yung power of... Uh, Power of Habits ba yun? Ano nga bang book yun? Basta may team of YouTube. Basta kulay yellow siya na cover. Uh, and then, you know, it talks about this idea na if you want to create a routine, 
that is, that is productive to you or that really impacts your day, your week, your month, your life in general, you need to do two things. No? You need to design a trigger around it. Ayan, Power of Habit by Charles Doig. Great job, Julian. So they both say na parang first you need to address the triggers. Like, why do you need to do this? Ano ba yung, ano yung sign na kailangan mo na siyang gawin? That, and also the benefit. Like, at, after being able to do that thing that you want to do, can you have a clear benefit? Is there a reward to yourself? And do you know what that reward is? And so, according to this book, and if I'm if I'm butchering it, I apologize to the authors. But if I remember correctly, when I read those two books, it's that it's not just about parang willing yourself to do these things. You need to get a good a good grasp of the triggers. Why? What are the triggers that will make you do this? For example, for me, coffee. When I wake up in the morning, coffee. My going to the gym is triggered by my drinking of my liquid energy, which is espresso. Diba? So these, are for me, I've already uh, designed in a way to be triggers of one another. And then if you ask me kung ano yung benefit, ano yung value at the end, it's really that winning mentality early in the morning. At 6 o'clock, I already feel that I'm winning the day because I'm getting to do this, these things. No? So you gotta master those two things. But... If I were to simplify that further, it's really about why do you want to create a routine? Kung dahil uso or dahil I'm doing it or your friend is doing it, you know, your your mentor, your your buddies, your siblings are doing it, it's not a good enough. It's not a good enough why, right? But let's say you are feeling unhealthy. You your annual physical result came out. And they told you, you have high uric acid, like you're quite, you're borderline diabetic, or you know what have you. If you then you you can have a stronger why of why you want to exercise, or why do you want to get up early, right? and then you start to design that habit or that routine through creating triggers, you know, mental reminders that it's time to do these things. Um, so I recommend those books, those two books, Power of Habit and Atomic Habits. You know, they're I, sorry po, they're a little bit boring to read for me. Um, but, yun nga, parang, there's a ton of practical tips there about how you can create routines and habits. No? Uh, so, yun. So, I hope that was helpful. And uh, if you have comments, suggestions, added inputs to what I'm saying, or you disagree, just hit the chat, hit the comment section, and type it there, and our team will make sure that I get we get to those comments now. Okay, excuse me. Next question. What is my favorite and least favorite part of the routine? Hmm, I don't really have favorites, favorites. Kasi once I start, parang ang nang nangyayari is my first part of the day, which is my coffee workout, uh, my, my coffee quiet workout time. Parang they seem to be my favorite because... Because if I do them, then I know I'll have a great day. Parang meron akong ganong, uh, ano tawag dito? Meron akong ganong mental bias. Meron akong ganong paradigm na iniisip, di ba? Uh, meron akong pred- predisposed ako to have a good day if I achieve those three things early in the morning. Uh, favorite ko din, and nakakatawa to, favorite ko din is yung short TV time ko to watch local news after work before dinner around 6.30 or 7. So, wala kaming cable uh, wala kaming cable sa bahay. So, niyo YouTube ko lang yan tapos pin, pin, pinaproject ko sa TV nila live stream nila live ko sa TV namin yung local news yung TV patrol tsaka 24 oras. Para siyang part for me, it's a it's a routine that tells me during this one and a half hour that I'm watching local news, I'm unplugged from work. And routine yan. Tanoyin nyo yung mga closest people that come to the house in Abuta ng 6.37. Matatapos wala namang karaoke or wala namang moving pa panoorin. Makikita nila TV patrol yung nakaproject. Tanong nyo kay Kaya, makikita nyo nakaproject. Kasi for me, 
ano yan, parang, uy, mag-unplug muna ako sa work. Pahinga ako bago kumain. Manunood ako ng local news. And it's also a way for me to get updated with what's happening in the country. So, parang two in one na siya, no? And then, after dinner, balik ako sa work. Sadly, marami talaga akong ginagawa. So, I need to spend. So, from from about 9 to 9, 9 or 9.30 up to 11, 11.30, I will still be on my computer. I'm not proud of it, but, you know, that's the requirement of my job. And so, favorites ko talaga is yung umaga at saka yung TV break ko sa hapon. So, balita lang napapanood ko. Yan. Pero balita ko buhay pa rin yung ang provinsyano. Nakikita ko kasi yung commercial. Okay. Uh, next question. Do you believe in the saying work hard, play harder? If yes, why would you say that it is important? <sighs> Hirap kasi nung qualifiers ng hard and harder eh. Hindi ako naniniwala dun sa ganong leveling. Yung if you work 100%, dapat yung party 120% or kasi harder, di ba? Hindi ako naniniwala dun, friends. Naniniwala ako sa balance in life. And many, many years ago, I forgot who told me this, but they told me that life is not a scale. Ganyan. But a tug of war. And in some days, play is more important. And these are the days that your soul needs play. Meaning, you're going to excuse yourself from work and you're going to intentionally design your days around play, around recuperation, around living because your soul needs it. But on some days, no matter how itchy it feels na kailangan mo ng konting break or play, Life is just not gonna allow you because it's the time of the tug of war where work is demanding more from you. So, hindi siya parang, hindi siya ganyan, but it's more like this, di ba? And, interestingly, for me, I get that. Kaya nga, I always tell the team, di ba? We, we don't have leaves. In all care, we don't have leaves, by the way. Because maybe some of us need more than 15 days of rest throughout the year, right? So most enterprises, they will have 15 days of vacation and that's okay. No judgment to them. But in all care, we don't have a limited number of vacation days like 15. That's a double-edged sword. If you are a strong performer, meaning you're crushing your KPIs, you're crushing your OKRs, you're excellent and you're achieving all of what you set out to do, and you need 17 days this year of break days, go get yours, right? No one's going to say no. If you need one month break, go get yours. No problem, right? Because the idea is if you take those days, you not only have you earned them, but it shows that you, des- ba? Parang you deserve it so you can continue to perform, right? And walang problema. But at the same time, because we're, pro- uh, we're productivity-based, or results-oriented, yeah, we you cannot tell me you need two months of break when your work, your quarter's work is worth one week, diba? But um, we have a very high level of responsibility and accountability in all care that people don't even bother to ask. Kasi alam naman nila, papayagan sila, but you know, they feel accountable, very highly accountable with their teammates that they wouldn't even bother asking. So, yeah. So I don't necessarily believe in work hard, play harder because I believe you can work hard and also play hard, right? Play or do things that will give life to your soul. Do they need to be, kumbaga parang if you're working hard, dapat yung, ano mo, yung extracurricular activities mo are mas madami or mas mabigat? I don't, I don't think so, right? I mean... As I told you, I work until late night into the day, but I, I really make time to ride. I really make time to go camping, to go to the beach, because I believe in balance, diba? So, yun. So, no, I don't necessarily believe in work hard, play harder, but I do believe that any good productive person will need play time because they're they're human beings, right? So if you're working hard, great, that's good. I'm happy for you. If you're building your business, great. If you're hustling, great. But you also need to spend time to invest in your soul, to refill your soul, refill your heart, right? And walang levels done. There's just sabi nga sa, ano, don't think, 
just do. Hindi ko sasabihin ko sa ang movie yun. Uh, ayan. Okay. So, I hope that was helpful. Okay. Are there dis- any disadvantages that come with having a routine? Yes. Hindi ko alam kung mag agree I don't know if people would agree with this. no. But sometimes, your routine is getting in the way of spontaneity. Right? So, I'm a creature of habit and routine. I think you probably made that assessment about me. Diba? But sometimes, I can see my friends, my family get irritated because of my cre- being a creature of habit and routine. Kasi for them, parang, eh, okay, ako na yung gawin yan. Tara na, you know, let's do it. And I'm like, uh, no, I really wanna do this first. Kanyari sa umaga, diba? Nagmamadali na kami. Pero I, parang minsan, Although, hindi mong parate. But there are days talaga na medyo non-negotiable. I really need to have this cup of espresso or have this cup of coffee. Uh, so, parang magbibig ako ng extra five minutes, ganyan. Tapos, instead, hot water yung ilalagay ko sa long black ko. Ano na lang, tap, ano na lang, water from the container para <laughs> hindi ganun kainit para lalagokin ko na lang. So, I mean, in a way, it's not really a disadvantage. It's just, you know, there are trade-offs, di ba? If you have a routine, then it takes a little bit away from that spontane- spontaneity of life or, you know, you're being spontaneous. Um, and I hope it's not to a level where you can't get anything done when it's not part of your routine. Yung parang, uh, I would say, di ba, parang, and I'm not a professional, so don't quote me, but parang parang pagka-OCD, di ba, yung hindi mo, hindi yan pwede, hindi yan pwede, hindi yan pwede, because hindi yan yung comfort zone natin. Um, you know, I'm lucky I don't go through that. But uh, but there are days na parang I just can't get anything done. Yung coffee at saka yung workout, laking bagay yan sa akin. There are days talaga na parang I feel meh. I'm sure you guys can relate. Yung feeling ng meh. And many a times, those would be when I don't work out in the morning. Kasi I feel like, ano ba yan, since you're trying to lose weight, pero di ka nag-work out. Or you're trying to build your knees because I have a meniscus tear, di ba? Parang you're trying to strengthen your knee, pero di ka naman nag-work out. You didn't do enough calf raises. Ano ba yan? And you know, so on some days, there are they are disadvantageous. Parang medyo detrimental siya in, in my mental state. Pero I wouldn't really call them disadvantages. They're they're just parang extra layers, but they're, they're there's challenges. Um, yun. Uh, but I but I'd be happy to hear if anybody knows like a real disadvantage of routine outside of what I shared. I'd be happy to learn about that as well. So please do share. If you're just tuning in, welcome to Ask Cindy. Our episode for tonight is called Investing in Yourself, Building Routines, <laughs> Building Your Personal Routines as Founders. Yeah. My goodness, my marketing team's gonna kick me. Okay, additional question. Meron pa ba? How do you stay flexible despite having a routine? Oh. My sister called me boring and serious, so I don't know if I have the audacity to answer this question. Pero, yes, no, uh, I think you can be flexible even if you have a routine. Your routines are, you know, they're parang, there are little signposts that can help you make your day feel better, like m- make you mentally or emotionally prepared for the day. Meron siyang konting bump, di ba? Like yung sinasabi ko kanina. It feels like I'm winning the day. So there's already endorphins and uh, uh, dopamine being released in those early wins in the day. But if I don't get to do them, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna lose the business. I'm not gonna crash the party. Like, it's, it's not that bad. Um, and so I would say, like, yes, I can. St- I am still very flexible even if I don't get to do my routines the way I want them to be. But it just requires a little more focus, right? Um, a little more power and energy to go through the challenges if you don't have those parang mga little wins in, in the morning like for me. Um, but I don't think that flexibility and having routines are mutually exclusive. I don't. I don't agree that they're mutually exclusive. I think you can have routines. And I know many, many people that have routines. You know, pastors have routines. Um, my entrepreneur friends, marami sa amin, that's our routine, no? Morning coffee. Um, I know a lot of 
like uh, celebrities and influencers, part of their routine is really working out because it's also a requirement for their jobs. And but they're very much flexible within the day, right? I mean, provided in the shooting day, for example. So I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Okay. So great questions so far. Please, please, if you have more questions, if you're tuning in, please type in the comments. Ano yung question nyo or additional input nyo? Or if you disagree, you know, feel free to put that in the chat box as well. Okay. We have a number of questions lined up. Maybe three more. Let's go for it. When do you think is a good time to switch up your routine? Pag gumagana, I suppose. I mean, depends on what your routine is, eh, diba? Like, like for example, I'm sure, and I'm sure, like, you cannot change my mind about this. I'm sure that single people have different routines from married people, right? I mean, diba? So if you're single in every routine, I can imagine that you would need to switch it up when you get married, right? And then you would need to switch it up again when you get and you have kids. And when your kids are older, you can switch it up again back to your single life routine, diba? Right? But but yeah, so our routines are an extension of our personality. Let's put it that way, right? Our routines are an extension of our personality, of our personhood. And so they will evolve and develop as we develop as people, right? Single people, college students, young adults, they have different routine, right? Young professionals that are single have a different routine. Not so young professionals that are still single, I think, have a different routine. Once you get married, you have a different routine. Once you get kids, you have a different routine. So the 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 situations and the circumstances that you are in that impact your personhood, your personality, will also drive the change on your routines. Right? So it's also not so good, I think, to get stuck on a routine. And this is just the only way I'm doing things, right? Um, if you're single, you're probably not used to telling people where you're going right if you live alone and you're single you're probably not telling anyone where you're going you're not asking permission literally right but let's say you get married before you hit your the road right before you get on your motorcycle and go to that to that meet up you're probably gonna have to make it part of your routine to tell your spouse where you're going right um and so and so yon, parang I don't think that we should be stuck in one way of doing things. But I all I also don't think that we need to force ourselves to switch up the routines until we have to. And one of those have to moments would be as we evolve as people, our circumstances evolve, we age, we become more mature, we have different needs, health needs, for example, and so your routines will change as well. Wow, I was spitting fire there. Okay, so um, meron pa ba tayong question? Meron pa yata? How do you stay consistent with your routine? So, I think we go back to what I was sharing earlier about the books. That, that my, if I remember correctly, my key takeaways from the books, right? And consistency is a result of discipline and practice. I don't know if I said that right, but do something often enough with discipline, it will become second nature. It will become really part of your habits and your routine. Um, because I have a coffee shop inside the house, I have, a, I have a machine, I have a coffee set up. And because I've been doing this for many years, it is now a consistent routine to have a cup of coffee in the morning, almost before anything else that I do. Um, and so, and if you want to get into a rhythm of consistently doing something, you need to create good foundations. And I think yun nga yung sa book, diba? Yung understanding and creating good triggers for yourself to aid you in doing that thing and then having a strong why you need to do those things. And then pre- creating parang a reward model for yourself. If hindi innate yung reward. So kasi sa akin, kunyari, yung pagkakape ko, Yung reward is innate. I feel happy. I feel productive when I can do those three things in the morning. Coffee, quiet time, and 
uh, gym, di ba? Uh, obviously, meron din siyang effect sa katawan ko. I feel stronger, I feel fitter, I'm able to do things, I'm able to lift my bike off the mud, di ba? Uh, and kailangan evident yun sa inyo. So, yun, you need to create triggers that will be your uh, brain reminders to do certain things. You need to establish a good why for why you want to do a certain routine or develop a certain habit. And then the reward model, di ba? Yung what is it that your body or yourself gets out of doing it. So, uh, and then a lot of time doing that with discipline and practice and, you know, being consistent will turn that parang thing that you're doing consciously into something unconscious and it's part of your routine, di ba? Ayan. I think this is the last question. Tama ba? Uh, sa team? Or maybe there are more questions. Uh, you know, feel free to join us. We still have a bit of time. I think we have five to eight minutes. Um, if you're just tuning in, our topic tonight is building <laughs> our, uh, our topic today is investing in yourself building your personal routine as founders okay and how do you establish a routine with other people while still maintaining your own uh, you know i guess i guess that's a great question something i don't really know the direct answer to except you know your routines as a team your habits as a team, I think will be a result of your norming activities or, you know, you're the things that you do just because of your culture, right? Kanwari, in our team, we do that Monday huddle and we really intentionally ask about how your day was, how your weekend was. And that's really because part of who we are as a team in all care is we invest in each other's person, in each other's personality who you are not just that you're a cog in a machine but we we love you and we work with you we engage with you as a person so i'm not cindy just the ceo i'm really cindy the person that likes all of these things and i also happen to be the ceo and i deserve the to-do lists right but they're excited to hear what i do over the weekend they're excited which which bike did i bring which track did i bring the bike where did I drop the bike? How many times? What camping gear did I boodle myself again? I would like to think they're interested in hearing that. In the same way, I'm interested in hearing about their weekends. Because those things that we do are, are an extension of who we are as a team, our culture. And that means whatever we decide to do as a team, we all, that represents our collective being, our culture. So, so yun, so kunwari, yung Monday huddle namin, tsaka yung Monday, Monday devotion namin, wala pa kaming teammate na pinasok sa altar tapos violently dislike those activities ng Monday morning eh. Kasi nga, part of who we are and part of the culture that we protect and part of the culture we grow is that we are more than just workers. We are people that we, we have spiritual needs, we have social needs, we have emotional needs, and so... On our Monday mornings, we try to address those things together, investing in each other, time, our stories. Uh, and so, naturally, it happens. You know? I can't say the same for other teams or other organizations, uh, even other families, diba? Right? Everybody is unique. Everybody um, is not the same. I know families na parang morning routine nila, you cannot step out of the house until you have breakfast with the family. May mga ganan, diba? Right? Oh, let's nag because I don't eat breakfast regularly. I mean, it's not my thing. I love brunch, uh, but on weekdays, I just don't eat breakfast because I would rather work out and then jump to my meeting than eat breakfast. So, so yun. So, if you're listening and you're a team leader and you want to create team routines, team habits, I would recommend first to look introspectively and look at your culture. Like, who are you as a team? And from from the collective personality of your team, what are the things that you can do to continue to build and sow into that culture, diba? And, and, you know, it's just continue growing that. Ayan. So this was an interesting topic because this is something very close to me. I refuse to be known as just, you know, this entrepreneur or this founder or whoever, like, 
just for my work. I want to be when you know when I hit my deathbed, I want to have lived a full life. And so when I talk to people, I talk to my team, I talk to other founders, I really heavily encourage them to design their lives the way they want it to, meaning really incorporating things that so into their soul, not just professionally, but also as people, as human beings. And so this topic is one way for me to really tell people, hey, if you're hustling and grinding, grinding and super, working super hard right now on your project, on your business, on your job, great. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. But don't shortchange your life by not investing and sowing into your soul because that's equally important. Companies, they die. Jobs, they fade. You know, you move on to the next job and what have you. But your life, ayan ang totoong YOLO, di ba? You only live once. You don't want to come to your deathbed and say, all I did was work. Diba? So, you know, find that balance. Uh, you don't necessarily have to play harder. You just want to make sure you have a balanced life. You do work hard, but you also find time to really sow into your soul and, you know, live. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, thank you again, everyone, for tuning in to tonight's episode of Ask Cindy. This is going to be available on demand on all the platforms on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Co- I don't know. I think so. And then um, if you can follow our social media channels, please do so you can stay tuned on our next episode topics. We collect questions from our viewers, from our followers, our fans on the social media pages so we can include them in that week's show. Uh, Again, uh, this show is brought to you by All Care. It's the country's first and only digital benefits membership platform that allows small businesses, startups, solopreneurs, and even freelancers to get access to very, very important worker benefits because they have to have those, diba? And uh, without having the big corporate budgets that, that most large enterprises have, you can still get a full range of benefits through All Care. So do check it out, uh, www.allcare.ph. See what I did there? That's go dubs, okay? Uh, and then if you're curious, I run another firm called BT Partners. It's a revenue operations consulting firm. We really just help leaders identify how can they further grow by looking at their marketing, their sales, and customer success operations. You can find out more about that on our LinkedIn page, BT Office Partners, or go, to, or go to btpartners-asia.com. Oi, Julian, ano ba yan? Mag-subscribe ka na sa premium YouTube. Ayan. Um, okay. So, ayun. So, I hope this was a useful episode. If you're watching this, I hope may naitulong tong episode na to sa'yo. If you want to know more about what I do, just you know, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, if you want to shoot me an email, it's cindy at allcare.io. Um, we're happy to speak with partners, with potential clients, and you know, or if you just want to know more about my routines or my habits or where I go motorcycling and stuff. Okay, that's it, Pansit. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight's episode. Stay tuned for our succeeding episodes. This is Cindy Burdett signing out. Signing off. Ano ba talaga?